Das Vader. Das Vader, das Vader. So, uh, how was it? Wearing that costume, playing that iconic character. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it's an honour to wear such an iconic character role. You know, I was five years old when uh, when Darth Vader first came out. You know, and I got to meet Dave Prowse many a times. Um, you know, on Comic Con World. Uh, God rest his soul. And uh, yeah, it's it, it, like I've played a lot of characters over these past 20 years on silver screen. But Darth Vader, he's. Uh, I didn't really get why he was the most honourable. Um, well, the most bad guy on silver screen. But in, when I played the guy, and the presence takes over you, there's a real Darth Vader and a spirit and presence and soul of Darth Vader. So when he takes over you, he demands respect and he takes over the room. You know what I mean? What would you say? What is the most powerful feeling when you are in that costume? Would you play in the part? Yeah. Well. How would you describe it? This, this it's, well, it's the Force. It's the dark side. You know what I mean? It takes over you. You can't mess about on the dark side. And you must do as you're told, or you get choked out. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Did you have maybe some funny moments from uh, the shooting of Well, you, you know what? I, I've been in the industry over 20 years now. I've done over 50 films. Many, many characters from the Harry Potters, the Marvels, the DCs, the Game of Thrones, the Doctor Who's. And every character I play, right, I mess about. I have a lot of fun with them. But Darth Vader, he doesn't let you mess about. You try, he won't let you. He, he, he's got you, you know, and you, you've got to do as you're told. And that's the way it is. You've got to use the force for good <laughs> okay. or bad. And uh, a, funny, a funny memory from uh, the shooting of uh, the Batman piece because when you wear a costume, especially like, like, like a Batman costume, yeah. then uh, you can't go to the toilet. How is it with the Darth Vader costume? So, uh, how uncomfortable is this when it's like, hey, you I know must what? go for a pee? Is it possible or is it just uh, well, you have to wait for us? I've got, like I say, I've been in many costumes, you know, from the Wolfman to Frankenstein, from the White Walkers, from the Doctor Who characters and things like that. I've got a difficulty from one to ten. And Darth Vader, he's quite a nice suit. He's a two and a half, three. So, you know, and uh, the great productions to work on. If you need to go to the toilet, to the restroom, they will give you a couple of minutes to sort it out. It's not like you're, you're sealed in latex. You know, it takes you half an hour, 40 minutes to get out. You're in and out the, the, the suit. It's the, what time, the time it takes to put on is the lid and things like that. You know, that takes a bit fiddly. So it, it's not too bad. You just use the force and you find it, find your way to the toilet. <laughs> so it's all good. Do you have maybe a favorite moment from the shooting of Rogue One? My favorite moment from Rogue One was the audition process and to actually get the phone call that you've got the role to play Darth Vader. Because, you know, we've all grown up with Darth Vader. It's such an iconic role and to be, for the grown-ups, for the industry of Star Wars, to let me control their baby and have confidence in me, me and Dan, two of us play the part, it's an honor, you know? And I and I, uh, I thank the, the film gods every day for letting me Let me again play a, a great character for them. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we did good, and the fans were very, you know, they were very happy with mine and Dan's work. And uh, it's a great privilege to play Darth Vader and feel the force. You did very great, so well done. Thank you very much. Mr. Darth Vader. Force is with me. And 